What is up, Intentional Lifestyle Creators? Happy June! It is now the month of June. So if you're not ready to crush it, I don't know what, I mean, it's, it's, you have, you're almost halfway through, all right? So you got to get your stuff in gear, all right? My name is Ryan McMorris. If you're watching the replay, let me know. And uh, if you're popping on, let me know as well. Um, welcome to Intentional Lifestyle Creators. Um, this is our exclusive uh, ILC Top Earner Lifestyle Roadmap group. So um, welcome to this group. Uh, we love to um, bring free content and free coaching and all, you know all sorts of cool stuff to you guys. So welcome to Intentional Lifestyle Creators. If you're new, make sure you uh, you go to the pin post, okay, and uh, read through that and go grab your copy of the Top Earn the Lifestyle Roadmap. Um, this is the book that uh, my lovely fiance, soon to be wife in a couple weeks, wrote. Okay, and um, we, we train a lot from, uh, from that book. So make sure you go to the pin post and grab that because it's very essential to your success and how to use this Top Earner Lifestyle Roadmap, all right? So um, every single Monday night we do a, a Q and A, or so we'll ask, we'll answer your questions. We'll um, we'll hang out with you guys and uh, and make sure that you're on the right path. We do this on Monday so you can kick off your week the right way. You know what I mean? So um, be sure to post your questions on Mondays. Post send your questions to uh, email or post them in the group. Doesn't matter. Uh, we can do uh, admin at ilcuniversity.com. All right, if you send us your questions via email. Uh, just let us know your questions. Get us your questions any way you want, and we'll, and we'll get them answered for you. And, um, and yeah, so um, if you're just popping on, feel free to uh, say what's up. Don't be rude. You know what I mean? That's not very nice. So uh, say what's up if you're popping on. And if you have questions, feel free to answer your questions. Or ask your questions. I'll answer your questions. Um, yeah, and feel free to invite. Let's have a party. You know, we hang out for, you know, 15, 20 minutes every Monday night. And, uh, and yo, let's, let's see what the dealio is. You know what I mean? So, um, there wasn't a ton of questions today. So if you guys want your questions answered, you got to post them in, you got to post them in the thingy. Okay. You just have to. Um, but I want to talk about something that I went over with the, uh, with the ILCU group last week on our, um, on our VIP coaching call. And we were kind of chatting about, uh, how social media has changed and, and what you can do differently on Facebook to continue to grow your business and grow your audience. Because um, you know, we did this thing called, uh, we always talk about this thing called nest, right? You want to build your nest. And, you know, in, in retirement, they always tell you you want to build your nest egg. Well, right now, you want to build your nest. What's up, Kathleen? What up? And if you don't know what nest is, uh, nest stands for you want to build your network, okay? So you want to build your audience, all right, you want to engage with that audience. You want to solve that audience's problems, and then you want to tap root through that audience to uh, to get to the people they know, so you can help solve their problems. And it, and it starts all over again because once you get to that tap root stage, you're again you're building your your network again. You're engaging with those new people, and now you're solving those new people's problems. Does that make sense, guys? So let me know if you if you understand that that nest formula. Because we always talk about this, and this can help you hit six figures much quicker than you would not doing this formula. You know what I mean? But one of the things that we talked about is like social media has changed. It's not how it used to be. Okay. And if you're just popping on, I see uh, you know, I see a bunch of people popping on. Emilio, what's up, man? Jermaine, what up? Ruth, what's going on? Todd, what up, dog? Kathleen, what up? I see you. I see you. So if you're popping on, say hey. Um, but social media is so different. You know, like when I was starting to kind of come up on Facebook. You could do so many different things, like it was post every two hours, you know what I mean, and, and really, you know, pr provide value on your uh, on your wall, and it was not so much about uh, qual or, uh, quality, but it was more about quantity, and uh, the algorithms were different, and, and, you know, no one ever really knows what the algorithm is, but Facebook has done some things to always keep the user experience cool, and, you know, they have, um, they have Facebook stories. And one of the things that I would say that not enough people are using, they're not using the Facebook Stories feature enough on Facebook to, um, 
to create more conversation. Because one thing that, that I see a lot of people doing wrong on social media is they're, they're going for conversion and they're not going for conversation. You know what I mean? And I see Facebook stories as a way to create more conversation uh, and really create more curiosity around your product, your service, or your opportunity, or really more about your life. Because here's one thing that a lot of people are kind of missing too. You know, I had a, um, I had a consultation call with a lady today, and we were talking about uh, brand pillars, okay? And a lot of people have taken on this thing of like, hey, if I'm going to build my business online, I need to be an expert. I need to be an expert in something, right? Like I'm the makeup expert or I'm an expert around this or I'm an expert around this. And the, the expert kind of thing, um, it's, it's not the most duplicatable thing online, one. And, and a lot of times you can make the mistake of just being like really one thing and you don't have your brand pillars to make up who you really are. So uh, what's up? What's up, Rachel? So think about who you are right now. Think about the pillars that make up your brand, okay? So it could be, you know, you could be the makeup person, right? But don't forget that you're also a mom. Don't forget that you're also a wife. You know, don't forget that you're also, you know, uh, a daughter or you're, you know, you love fishing or whatever it is, right? You have these pillars that make up your brand and you can't forget about those things or you're, I mean, you're not going to have success on social media. You know what I mean? Because nobody really wants just to, you know, I mean, trust me, if, you, if you're just going to give out social media tips all day, that's not going to be the thing that's going to make someone really want to buy from you. The thing that makes people really want to buy from you is the fact that they can relate to you, they can relate to your story. You know, I look at, um, you know, I look at comedians. I think comedians and preachers are some of the best people outside of, of this industry, you know, if you're, if you're a network marketer and you follow a lot of uh, gurus in our industry that are, that are phenomenal, what's up, Angie? What up? Um, if you follow a lot of people, it's great to follow people in the industry, but just my, just my advice, you know what I'm saying? If, if you're going to follow someone outside the industry, follow someone like a, a really, really awesome preacher. Right, follow a really, really awesome comedian and study those people. You can learn so much from Kevin Hart. You know, I mean, we were watching this, um, I can't remember what's her name, I think it was like Ali Wong. And like the reason that people follow comedians is because the jokes that they tell, the people in the audience can relate to them and then they laugh. Right? If, if, if it's not relatable, then no one's gonna laugh, no one's gonna, you know, go to the show, no one's gonna buy. Right, so understand like that's how your social media is going to work too. If people can see that you're a father, if people can see that you know you're um, you know compassionate and you're funny, or you know you're you know you like bowling. I mean, people got to be able to see that stuff through your social media. And Facebook Stories is a great way to um, to let people see you all day long, you know, and tell your story all day long without having to flood your newsfeed, you know, and and actually. And actually use the Facebook algorithm to your advantage. And if you're going to post something on Facebook, you know, once or twice a day, what you can do is post once or twice a day. You can actually post some quality stuff and not just have to think, okay, I got to post to post, right? But if you have that urge, then just do it all day through stories, right? Just do it all day through your Facebook story from the moment you wake up to the moment that you go, that you go to bed, right? Let people inside your life, okay? And be creative about how you let people inside your life. I, ha I gave another tip to a guy who, um, who put his link on Facebook, on a Facebook story. And I was like, hey man, you may wanna be careful with that because hey, if anyone goes to your website, okay, if anybody goes to your website, then if they leave your website, one, you don't know they went to your website, okay? So, um, you know, I'm, I'm really careful about putting links on anywhere, uh, because if someone goes to it, one, um, I want to know, okay, that way I can collect information from them so I can reach out because if someone goes to a site and then maybe they get turned off by something, maybe they get, um, maybe they get distracted or, or whatever. I don't know that they went to my site. You know what I mean? I don't know what they looked at. Um, so, you know, be careful with that on Facebook stories. But, um, one of the things I love about Facebook stories is, um, one here, here, here's the thing I love about Facebook stories. When you, when you want engagement, and a lot of people, like pop a number one in the comment section if you would like more engagement on social media, 
Like, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people, they, they post something, they like to see other people engage in it, laugh at it, love it, what like it, you know what I mean? Most people want a little more engagement on social media, uh, and that's, that's fair, right? Angie says, yes, yes, I want some more engagement on social media. Well, one of the best ways to get engagement on social media is to actually be the engager, you know what I mean? If you're the guy that, that likes and comments and can start a conversation, that's great, right? Well, if you go through your Facebook stories and go through and love some things and like some things and, and comment on some things, guess what? You, show, you now show up on the top of someone's inbox in Facebook Messenger. So you can strategically get to the top of someone's inbox. So for instance, if you've got someone that's on the fence in your business, uh, you may not want to directly follow up with that person, right? However, just liking one of their Facebook stories could get your name to pop up and jog their memory and say, oh my God, I remember now that, you know, I need to, you know, join that business with someone. I completely forgot. You know, one of the things that, that I think we all kind of really just got to get to understand is um, everyone else has lives too. You know what I mean? The people that we're following up with, they have lives too. And our job is just to stay in front of them and stay in their memory jogger. Stay in front of them in a way that would, um, that would at least keep, them, uh, keep us at the front of their mind. You know what I mean? Does that make sense, guys? Okay. You should want to know when people go to your website. Exactly. You know, I'm, one, here's the thing with most network marketing websites is they're not set up to actually move someone through the process. Most network marketing websites are set up for someone to purchase. And 95% of people on social media that follow you aren't ready to purchase. So if that's the case, I don't need to send them my website. Okay? Does that make sense, guys? You know, if, if 95 to 99% of the people that I talk to on social media or that see me on social media are not ready to buy okay and my website is set up not to educate but it's really just set up for people to buy uh, a website that's set up to move people through the process collects information it educates people it tells them something that they don't know makes them put in their information so they can find out about it therefore they can collect that information and you the the rep can actually reach out and say, hey, Mr. Person that just put in their information, did you get everything you need? Hey, I saw you may be looking for this. Um, you, know, did, you know, did you have any questions on that? Most network marketing companies don't have their website set up that way, but their, their reps, their distributors are acting as if that website is set up that way, and, they're, and, it's, and it's just it's a big old cluster F. That's what it is, you know, and it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Most companies are set up like that. Um, actually, one of the guy that I talked to today, their, their website is actually not set up like that. It's set up to where um, no one can actually get through the site unless they put their information in, and then he can call them and help them out. Um, but that's a 50-year-old company, and um, you know, it's just you know, sometimes that's what you see. That's what you get. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You, you heard... You heard me? So um, really getting down to, all right, well, what should I share um, on my Facebook stories? You know, um, I like to share things with uh, my family a couple times a day. Um, I like to, uh, you know, share my workout. I like to share kind of what I'm eating during the day. Um, and then, you know, I'll, I'll slide in a couple of promotions in there. Um, and a slide in maybe, you know, a product that you may be using. You can slide in something that's kind of, uh, that's creative and promotion and, and kind of promotional at the same time, uh, without being sleazy about it. You know what I mean? Um, you know, letting people just do a quick 15 second, um, encouraging message. You know, a lot of people are weaning themselves into video, but they don't want to do a Facebook live. But uh, what you can do is you can easily just hold down that record button and send a quick 15 second uh, encouraging message through the day or, you know, just letting someone know what you're going to be doing or that what you're about to be doing or where you're about to go. Um, I mean, that can really let people in and let people know who you are without having to do a full on live video. So if you're if you're one of those people or if you have teammates that are kind of um, they're on the 
on the on the fence about doing live video or or doing you know longer video, wean them and let them know, hey, do a quick 15 second Facebook story, all right? Letting someone know you know what you're doing today, letting someone know what you've got planned for the day, letting someone know what you're reading for the day or something, right? People just got to see you on the path. All right, is this helping so far? If you guys are hanging out with me, let me know with emojis and just pop a, a value if this is if you're getting value from this so far. And as always, uh, this is a Q and A. All right, so if you have questions that uh, we can help answer, uh, obviously let us know. Um, just a note: ILCU is closed. We're gonna open it up one more time before the wedding. Okay, just so you guys know, uh, we will open up ILCU one more time before the wedding. If you want to get on the waiting list, all you gotta do is. Um, is shoot me or Wes a message and we'll get you on the waiting list for when I'll see you opens back up. Um, Ryan, are you saying you can share your story without posting on Facebook? How? So um, all you got to do um, is go into, you can either go into Facebook or you can go into Messenger, all right? And it should be at the top. You know, you should, you can share stories in groups, um, but it should be right at the top. All you got to do is just look in the corner and you should see a thing that just says add to story. Um, Facebook is really trying to promote their stories kind of thing. So um, a lot of times you'll see, hey, do you want to add this to your story? They'll, they'll prompt you to add things to your story. So that's, that's a really cool feature. But the thing that you want to do with Facebook stories, guys, is you want to make sure it's continuous. Okay, so it's going to uh, reload every 24 hours. So if you go a day without posting anything, then you're kind of starting over. Okay, the cool thing about Facebook stories is if you can keep the ball rolling in a sense and you keep it filled with good stuff, um, it's, it's going to be continuous and, it, and, it, and it's kind of like it never stops. You know what I mean? Um, I'll give you guys a tip. All right, if you haven't invited anybody yet, what I want you to do is uh, invite some cool people because I'm going to share a tip that uh, we've been sharing with our um, with our VIP members. Uh, so I'll give you a VIP tip. But if you got a comment, uh, VIP tip below. That way I know you want it. Okay. So um, yeah, you don't have to make it 24 hours. You know, um, and and you don't have to try too hard to make it entertaining either. The, the point is to create conversation. Uh, this, the point isn't to just like, hey, make it entertaining. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be like this entertaining thing for, you know, 24 straight hours. It's going to stay on there for 24 hours. Yeah. But you know, you don't have to, you don't have to make it to where it's like, all right, well, whew, every hour on the hour, I got to post a, you know, story, right? You know, it doesn't have to be like that. So don't put too much uh, pressure or emphasis on it. You know what I mean? Um, because it doesn't have to be this crazy thing that, you know, people just, you know, adore for 24 hours straight. Don't put too much pressure on yourself, um, with that. But I guess, I guess nobody wants this VIP tip. Um, so I don't have to give it, I don't have to give it out. I already know it. I already know it. So if anybody wants to know, you can pop in the comments, VIP tip. I never give unsolicited advice. You know what I'm saying? Like I never just, you know, give out advice to people who don't want it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just can't, I don't just be going out and just saying, hey, like, do this. No, if you want it, I give it to you. If you don't want it, it's cool, I hang on to it, okay? I will hang, I, I tuck the ball and I just came back from football practice with five-year-olds, okay? All right, trust me, I've already dealt with needy little people, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I, you know, I don't, I'm not here to, I'm not here to beg. You know, hey, hey, if you want the stuff, I give you stuff. Here's the deal. Facebook, the algorithm on Facebook, it, you, you have to learn how to like play this the right way because it, right now it's working off percentages. And they've kind of done this because they want you to be more engaging with the people that you're friends with. Okay? So if you have 5,000 friends but only talk to 50, your reach isn't going to be very good. Okay? If you have a thousand friends, but you talk to 750 of them, like your reach is going to be good. So you have to engage with these people, comment, like, share their stuff, whatever, talk to them on messenger, like let Facebook know that you're actually engaging with these people. One of the things that you can do to increase your network, all right? So if this isn't implanted on your head right now, NEST is our six figure formula, okay? It's our six figure formula. Nest, N E S T, network, engage, solve, and taproot. All right? And 
we tell our, uh, our VIP members every single week, okay, go back to your most engaging post throughout the week, okay, and you write those names down. If you got a, if you got a post that had 100 likes and you know, that was like your best post of the week or most engaging post of the week, go back to Facebook, you pull up their names, and you write down each name that maybe you haven't talked to that person in a while. Maybe you forgot to follow up with that person. Maybe this person has no idea what you do and you need to get in front of them and let that person know what you do. I call this, this, uh, this exercise social media look back. All right? So um, you can comment that just so you know you got it. All right? What's up, Kim? So I call this exercise social media look back and you do it once a week, okay? You're going to take your top one, two, or three Facebook posts and all you're doing is looking for people that are new. You're looking for people that maybe, uh, hey, this is their first time engaging with you, right? Maybe it's a person that hasn't engaged in a long time. You're looking to build your list. You're looking to build your network and you're going to write down these names. And those are the people that you're going to actually connect with the next following week. So I usually recommend people do this on a Saturday or Sunday. So that way, Monday, Tuesday, the rest of the week comes around, you know who you're supposed to be talking to and actually engaging with. And one of the biggest things that this will help you do is it'll help you get away from the majority of your conversations with people being uh, f brand new, fresh, like, like completely, I don't know who you are conversation. Okay, Papa number two, if you really hate those conversations, if you're one of those people that you know you want to talk to people, you know you should be talking to people, right? But you don't like that awkward, like I've never seen you before in my life conversation, right? Anybody ever feel like that, right? You don't like that awkward, I've never seen you, who are, who is this black person that has a backwards hat on in my inbox? He looks kind of scary, I don't know right? Uh, I don't know. I just I may have to protect my thumbs. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody likes that. However, if the only pe if 90% of the people that you're talking to through the week, okay, are people that have seen your post, engage with your stuff, right? And then you go engage with their stuff. Now you should probably be able to have a decent, better conversation with them. Just saying, right? Right? Get out my inbox. Quit being a creep. Okay? But the thing you can do on social media, on, uh, on Facebook stories, is if I go to my story, I can see exactly, I'm just all up in these notes, just like messing stuff up. Messing stuff up. What did I do here? I'm all messing stuff up. Here's the thing you can do with Facebook stories, though. Okay? You can see who looked at your story. You can see who looked at the story. So if you got people looking at your story, go once a day and just write down the names that are like new people or people that you need to follow up with. I've seen a bunch of people on my story today that need to get followed up with. So if you're one of those people, okay, trust me. But it keeps people in front of you. It keeps people in front of you. And that's, one, and that's what you have to do. It keeps people in front of you so you can create more conversation, not create uh, conversion. You know what I'm saying? So if you got questions, by the way, all you got to do is ask and stop me and say, Ryan, I got a question. All right, because this is a q and I'm not trying to take over the q and I'm not trying to take y'all uh, and take this. But hey, if you don't, if you don't post your questions, I'm just going to I'm going to do something. You know what I mean? Um, but Facebook stories is awesome. Um, and if you reply to their stories, send a happy face or a message. Again, it sends that through Messenger. And the whole point is to create conversation. So you can ask a question through Messenger. Hey, what should I wear today? This blue Nike shirt or the red Under Armour shirt? Which one looks better, right? How should I wear my hair, up or down? You know, what should I do? What should I spend my residual income check on? This car or an investment? You know what I mean? It's like, wait, 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 what's that residual income check? Okay, so, so be creative using your story. Use the social media look back uh, exercise. Be consistent with it and watch your business take off. I guarantee it. I mean, you can't, you can't not do that. And it's going to keep you from having these awkward, I don't know who you are, um, who is this black person in my messenger conversations. Um, what do you say when you follow up with the peeps that are watching you? That's a good question. That's a good question. So here's the deal. You just keep it simple. A lot of people are, are, are 
they're they're making they're complicating this. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, you saw this post about me at flag football. All right, I go look at your thing. You've got kids. Oh, hey, um, what sports do your kids play? Mine, mine play flag football. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that post about you at the flag football game. Yeah, do you have kids? What do you I mean? Talk about what you have in common with them. Don't make this. Don't make this too too hard. You know what I'm saying? Like. All you do is say if someone re if someone watched your live video for the first time, you may send them a message. Say, hey, love to reach out to new people. Thanks for watching my video. Hopefully, it was you know valuable to you. Did you like it or did you not? I mean, you I don't try I try not to ask closed ended questions. I like to ask open ended questions. So no yes or no questions. You know what I'm saying? But um but just you know just be real. All right. Go look at their last five posts and see if you've got something in common with them. Comment. Bring that up in conversation. Um, you know, I'm not. You know, you can you can form people, you know, on social media, but a lot of people kind of see through the whole form thing because a lot of people just don't do form right. It's too. They they do form the whole family occupation, recreation, and motivation thing. They do that in a way that's just kind of robotic, and so people kind of see it coming. It's like it's just not smooth at all. You know what I mean? Um, I'm a big fan of form. A lot of people kind of stopped teaching form because I think people have stopped teaching it because um, most people just kind of suck at it and they're like, they're really robotic with it. It's like, oh, how is your family? How many people do you have in your family? It's like, are you going to ax murder them if I answer this question? Uh, no, thanks. I'll keep my family safe and their numbers. Thanks, though. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Nope, nope. I'm not going to tell you where I work either. Dear God, no. No. Sorry. Sorry. I'm just going to stay alive now. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. I like breathing. Thanks, though. Yeah. Thanks for the inquiry. Yeah. Not really into murder this week, but I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. A block. Right? So, look for things you have in common. If you don't have anything in common, um... It's like your mama always said, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. So if you don't have anything in common, then maybe just don't say anything at all. You don't have to force conversations. Understand that there's 7 billion people on this planet. 2 billion of them have an active Facebook account. So don't get too thirsty on Facebook when you just don't connect with somebody. There's plenty of people around that you can connect with. You know what I mean? It's like, um, we, we're, we, we, uh, we're in this battle, this, this lawyer thing, right? So we had to go, we we're looking for a new lawyer. You know, we're not going to get butt hurt, you know, that, that, uh, we're, we're not a good, we're, we're just not having a good fit with the current lawyer that we have, right? There's plenty of fish in the sea. There's somebody out there that's a good fit for you, right? In any given situation, relationships, prospecting, lawyers, it doesn't matter. Okay. So, um, let's see. I think I got time. I got time for one more question tonight on the free coaching session. Uh, and just so you know, guys, again, ILCU is closed. However, we will open up again before the wedding. So if you want to get on the ILCU waiting list for when we open up and you want to uh, really get an inside look of how we've built our empire, you want us to take you uh, through the steps to help you build your own empire, uh, you want a, a, a step by step kind of us kind of hold your hand and tell you kind of what to do, review your stuff. Uh, if you want a more personal touch, um, feel free to get on the waiting list. Just go to ilcuniversity.com uh, forward slash waiting and you can get on the list, okay? Um, and then, as always, make sure you go to the pinned post and grab your Top Earner Lifestyle Roadmap Guide, okay? Uh, and go through it, because we'll reference a lot of stuff in here uh, to this thing. Uh, there's scripts in there. There's all sorts of cool stuff in there that can help you grow your business. Um, I talk to a lot of people that have gone through that course and that use that book every single day, um, and the stories are just life-changing so cool to see people just go from not being consistent to being consistent. Awesome stuff. Um, I am ready. I'm ready. Wes just asked me if I'm ready. I'm ready. I told her, yeah. I said, I'm, I'm ready for you, boo. Got my vows. It's a done deal, bro. I didn't, I, I haven't memorized them. I don't know. Should I, are you supposed to memorize vows or is it cool if I do the note card thing? I was going to get a QB wrist for my vows. I don't know if that's acceptable or not. But um, I was going to get the QB wrist 
that way I can just flop it up. And um, if I need to run that play, you know, on vow number two, just boom, boom. You know what I mean? I don't know. Let me know if that's acceptable or not, ladies. Um, would you be, would you be, a, would you, would, is it acceptable if I got a QB wrist? Uh, just let me know. I don't know. Um, all right, so yeah, time for one more question. Speak from the heart. Woo! Mm-mm. No, no, no. These, no, nope, nope. This, this day is planned out over a year. No, this day is planned out over a year. Um, mm, it's got to be strategic set up. Mm, mm. Y'all don't know West like that. Y'all don't know West. I, nope. Mm -mm. I need cheat cards. I need cheat cards. I need a screen behind her that I can just look up at and make sure we're we're good. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna need like people on the sidelines, that kind of thing. All right. Uh, so nobody wants that question. All good. Perfectly fine. Um, my ILCU members are VIP members. Make sure that you um, got your questions lined up and you're ready for coaching tomorrow night because it's going down, all right? We got a big month planned for the VIP members, so make sure you're all set up. Make sure you've uh, logged into your back office, okay? So if you don't have a back office, make sure you go inside uh, the pin post, get your back office uh, set up. It's absolutely free. Grab this book and get started. Post your, uh, your daily stuff in this group um, because there's a lot of accountability posted here. And I'm telling you guys, um, watch your business start to flourish. So make sure you go to the pin post. Make sure you grab this here book, okay? And, uh, and if you have any questions that we can help you build your business faster, better, and awesomer, then just let us know, okay? I think cards feel right. See you guys. Have a good night.